Hallelujah. Amen. When, when you pray, you don't pray for, for, for us, you pray for yourself. You know, I told you one time, I said, you know, time will come where things will be very difficult for you. you know, where we are going now, if you're a Christian, you must be a Christian. If you're a sinner, be a sinner. You must just overdose everything you're doing. You know, the time like the time of uh, Joshua will come where you have to choose the God you want to serve. I'm sure you're hearing that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because the world will produce its own God. They're going to produce their own God. So you have to choose which one you want to go with. So this time of lukewarm Christians, lukewarm pastors, you, you, you're a pastor on Sunday. You know, you read the word of God because you want to preach it to people. That time is coming to an end. Tell your neighbor, that time is coming to an end. It's time now to guard your own soul. Whether you're a pastor, a prophet, you know, a Christian, it's time to guard your soul. Tell your neighbor, it's time to guard your soul. Don't do things for other people. You are hearing me? Amen. Tell your neighbor, don't do, don't do things for other people. You must do them for yourself. Guard your soul. Because, you know, we're going to a time where you have to choose your God. Remember by the time of Corona, many people were shaken. You had to, you had to choose your God. Some Christians, they stopped going to church because of sickness. They have chosen their own God. You know, they have showed us that, you know, they, they are so weak, they are afraid to die. Everything to them is, is controlled by fear. And, and now when the government say, uh, everything is open, you want to come to church now. It's like your government is your God now. When will we have people that will be strong? Last time here I said to you, when can we have Christians like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? You know, who stood their test of time and said, even if God does not save us, I don't think we've got those Christians now. I don't think so. You know, Christians of nowadays, everything must just be smooth. Everything must run nicely. When they are sick, they say there's no God. When there's poverty, there's no God. But when money comes, oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. God is great. 